With the report today that the Minnesota Fighting Vikings and Kirky Woodrome Ezekiel Cousins likely won't reach a one-year extension, it's either a long-term deal or nothing, it's more imperative than ever that the Vikings make a move and find a groove and secure their quarterback of the future for a succession plan, Brian Cox style. Uh, no, not the linebacker, the actor, and get it done. So we're going to do that in this seven-round Vikings mock draft. So start and then pause. Start pause. All right, so Will Anderson at one. Start pause two. Bryce Young. Start pause. Stroud four. All right, so here we go. This is a realistic scenario. Well, not realistic in that the Bears didn't trade out. I think 100% percent the trading out. But Will Anderson off the board, Bryce Young, Jalen Carter, C.J. Stroud. So now the Vikings, they have their options between Levis and Richardson. And looking ahead... We got some very quarterback needy teams. You have the Raiders, you have the Falcons, you have the Panthers, and all, I think all three of them certainly could and should uh, move up for a quarterback. But we're going to jump the line. We're going to do that. So you have the Seahawks at five. You do have the Lions at six, and Quasey has traded with the Lions in the draft before, but I don't know. Even though the Seahawks are a spot ahead of the Lions, I think that with the division ties, I think we'll get a better deal with the Seahawks. So uh, looking for the number five overall pick. We will include, because we're so magnanimous, uh, first rounder, second first rounder, and a third first rounder. So that's going to be accepted. But we want a little bit more. Like, can we get some nice, nice back? Okay. So we can get a second rounder. We get a couple sevenths. Racket stack this thing up. 59% chance of being accepted. Actually, can, can we turn this into a two? No, not so much. Um, all right. So can we get like a future fifth out of the deal? Sure. Future six. Yes. And another future fifth. How about a fourth? All right. 43% chance of being accepted. Why not? Why not? What's the worst I could do? Oh, they could have said no, I guess. Doesn't matter. So we're on the clock. Now, what do we do? Let's trade down. We got 12 trade offers. Not just kidding. All right. So Levis is on board, but we know. We know what's going on. Now, I, I like Will Levis. I I think that his ability to sense pressure is not where you want it to be, uh, even though he certainly up, uh, has a lot of upside. I think Anthony Richardson has an unlimited ceiling. And, yes, you question some of the accuracy stuff. Yes, his footwork needs a lot of work. Uh, but Kid is a absolute play, dynamic playmaker, big-time arm, strongest arm in the class, and he can just absolutely get it done, man. And a year behind Kirk Cousins, and uh, could this be an Alex Smith, Patrick Mahomes type dynamic uh, like they had with the Chiefs a number of years ago? Possibly. Possibly. Ooh. I feel good. So even though we gave up three ones, we, we got a second rounder back, and we got a fistful of other picks. So I'm actually feeling okay. Uh, I'm actually feeling really, really good right now. Now, ooh. So do we pull a RG3 Kirk Cousins and double dip on quarterback? After we just traded up for one? Nah. Uh, but Dante Banks is there chilling. Uh, let's check out our options. So, Maisie Smith is a stud, too. I, lo I love Will McDonald. Uh, Alari's, Ujolari's there. Tank Dell. Henley. Uh, but, no. Deontay Banks is that guy. I think uh, he certainly has Pro Bowl upside. And given the way that the Vikings want to play defense, he's got size. He's got length. He's got aggressiveness. He's got press man skills. Uh, so, I, I think... Just that little extra. And, you know, the Seahawks were uh, able to deal there because they have the, the extra first and second rounder from the oh, Tank Dell. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what we do? This is how we do. All right. So checking out the board. Uh, Overshown is there. Really love him. Sidney Brown is a stud. Uh, Nick Herbig. Carl Brooks is a guy that I, I, I love a lot. Uh, especially since he's listed as edge. He's going to be a defensive interior in the NFL. Tank Dell is up there too. Man. I mean, I, I know that Tank Dell doesn't, like, check the boxes of what you want size-wise, but he is just a friggin' playmaker, man. He's just a playmaker. I'm, I'm doing it. I, I don't care. I do not care. This is the IDC draft. I do not care How about your damn opinions. That's go. Let's go. Hey, Carl Brooks is still there. Hell yeah. That's a hell yeah. Now, remember, he's listed as a DN, but he is a defensive interior player. Remember that. Uh, let's see here. Colby Wooden is still there. Dorian Williams. Ivan Pace, I love. Yes, let's go. All right, so Ivan Pace. Heat-seeking missile linebacker. 
maybe a little bit too much crossover with Asamoa, but having two Asamoas ain't bad. All right. So do we just trust our board here? Dwayne McBride, uh, rushing champ. Colby Wooden. I mean, I like Wooden a lot. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so now Wooden actually is that stand-up. Uh, how, how many picks do we freaking have, man? All right, so McBride. Got the running back. Go work with King Kenne. Going to work with Ty Chandler. All right, so we got two selections left. Want to go through. All right, so corner, we're, we're good. Let's see here. Is there a versatile safety in there? Trey Dean, of course, yes. Ah, we're just going to take it. So not only is this a Richardson draft, this is a... I guess we missed out on the interior offensive lineman. Ah, well. Ah, well. That's what free agency's for. Uh, let's see, Bradford. No. Oh, Carvin. There we go. So this is the you want to get nuts, let's get nuts draft. So we traded with the Seahawks for the number five overall pick. We moved on up for Anthony Richardson. Big time arm, unlimited ceiling. Sit him for a year behind Kirk Cousins. Have him take over in 2024 after Kirk's deal expires. Go from there. Also, I, I love that we got, we got to A on all these picks except for Richardson. <laughs> But Deontay Banks, starting quarterback, day one, uh, all, all pro size and speed. Tank Dell, the playmaker, wide receiver two, three right away. Carl Brooks, uh, again, defensive interior, going to get that initial burst, that pass rush. I, I think Carl Brooks is going to be stud in this league. Ivan Pace Jr., shifty, speedy, uh, undersized linebacker, is going to pair well uh, with Asamoah. Uh, I got Colby Wooden. Uh, uh, toolsy edge rusher coming in from the Plains. Dwayne McBride, rushing champ, uh, mixing it up with that running back room. Trey Dean, oh, they gave us a D minus and an F for drafting a Jerome. I mean, come on, come on, man. Uh, but Trey Dean, versatile safety as well as Jerome Carvin, uh, some interior offensive line competition. But that is it. I'm in. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.